Don't forget to floss. What is the floss rule? If a single syllable word or a short word like huff, hill, dress, or jazz ends in an F, L, S, or Z, we double it. When do we not double it? When a word ends in the F, L, S, or Z, and it's a team. So we only double it when it's a short vowel sound. Uh, it, uh. So this is a team. It doesn't need the double F. This is a strong vowel team. And this isn't even end in an F, L, S, or Z. It ends in a P because it's the base word cup. And this is just the, the suffix S that means more than one. Now, a great way to um, get students introduced to this pattern is by, oh wait, first we want to level up our learning. All they need to know here are their short vowel sounds. Now we're going to card sort. It's the quickest, easiest way. Even students who really struggle have an easier time uh, has an easy time. Sometimes they sort them by vowel sound, which is great because I, I love that they're paying attention to the vowel. Um, and then I might say, well, how else can we sort these? Hmm. <clears throat> what do you notice? Yes, these some of these words uh, end in double Z, double S, and so on. And then we use a little marker and underline the vowel so they understand that the um, that the that the F, L, S, and Z comes right after a short vowel. And by the way, why do we call it the floss rule? You can't call it the fool's rule. Every word, it's kind of a neat opportunity to teach them that, or remind them, every word has to have a vowel. So that's that vowel is just helping us make the word floss. So we remember which letters get doubled, the F, the L, the S, and even the little Z gets doubled as well. I might even do a, a, some card flipping. I love doing card flipping. It's not really something you want to be doing. We want them to be mostly reading real words. Um, reading nonsense words is great for assessment, and it's also a fun way to get a lot of blending practice going um, because uh, I play a little game like this. If it's not a real word, nothing happens. If it's a real word like um, <clears throat> set, Let's see if I can find the T. <clears throat> set, then you thump. If it's not a real word, you don't. So when we go like this, Seth, then they pull up the double F so that it reminds them uh, uh, of the floss rule. Seth, man, nope. Oh, that's a real word. Thump. <laughs> and they this all of a sudden becomes not a reading thing, but a game that they want to win. Fess. Uh, comes here so we add that on there and remember that we want them to blend from the F to the E. This is the hardest part of blending. Fess. And um, so that's just giving them lots of practice with that. Now uh, the other thing to remember is that you want them to always be printing words with the spelling pattern you're teaching, writing sentences with the words that you are teaching uh, with the new spelling pattern, plus reading decodable text. You'll notice here that I used shells, and um, that's got a digraph at the beginning. Shh. So unless you've taught that, it might be a good idea to stick to um, words that do not have digraphs. And uh, also you'll see shells has a base word and a suffix s. So that S means more than one, it's a plural, and um, you might not include that. And then the G before an E, I or Y, makes the soft G sound. So unless you've taught that, um, it's, it's a good idea not to use those words, or use them, and ex make sure you explain. <laughs> that's, that's another option. You could also uh, level up learning by talking about why gas is not, there are, a lot, there are quite a handful of words that don't follow this rule, but um, it's a great way to talk about, uh, to help them with their spelling for the most part. Gasoline is a long word. It comes from gasoline. And we don't use the floss rule with um, uh, long words, just short words. And um, so this is just the short form of gasoline. This is the short form of autobus. And so we don't use the floss word with long words like that. You could add the uh, S, E, D, and I, N, G. And then you get lots of practice. So, so it's not just about the floss when we teach this. It's getting um, practice with reading words with short vowels. It's getting practice with understanding suffixes and even vocabulary. So there's a lot to talk about when it comes to any pattern. And that is, oh, and don't forget to have them added to their little card 
um, their, their short vowel card. And, um, and that's about it for the short vowels. I think we've covered everything. And that is the floss rule. Ta-da! Thank <laughs> you.